Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios, back with another Hearthstone video. This is a guide for a Dragon Mage deck that I'm really, really excited about and happy to be playing. Um, I have a Golden Mage, I've played a lot of different Mage decks. You might have seen my series where I tried to get to Legend and peaked at um, rank 4. Um, now, I always, like, the couple times I got to rank 4 in the past, I'd stopped playing, afraid, like... I didn't want to rank down. This season, I've kept playing. I've ranked back down to six a couple times, but I keep getting back to four. Um, and currently, I've now finally switched decks. I'm trying something new. So here is my version of Dragon Mage. There are a lot of versions of Dragon Mage. A lot of them don't run Illuminator, this card. <laughs> the three costs two, four. That restores four health, and that's kind of the key to the deck uh, to me because there's so much aggro out there, especially the aggro paladin, the face hunter. Uh, that it kind of like confuses and really infuriates your opponents that you're able to recover health and also running one duplicate um, if that's the card that's duplicated or really any of the minions in this deck <laughs> if any of them are duplicated it's really good for you I run one heal bot one water elemental I run one fireball two polymorph a lot of kind of removal spells for mid game keep your opponent at bay I run one explosive sheep, one flame strike to kind of clear the board. Uh, but you have a really, really strong uh, mid game and late game with this deck. Uh, there's Dr. Boom, there's Sylvanas, there's Emperor, and then the dragons, Isera and Nefarian. Some people like to run Alexstrasza. I don't. I don't think it fits this deck at all. Um, I don't really like Alexstrasza at all. I mean, <laughs> for Freeze Mage, sure, but. For any other kind of deck, I don't really think it works. Maybe Control Warrior, but even then, I don't really like it. But anyway, this is my version of Dragon Mage. I'm just going to show you some of the other variations. I'd mentioned Alex Straza. Um, you could swap out some secrets. I run two um, Ice Barriers to, again, slow down the aggression, make sure you're alive. Uh, the one Duplicate and one Ice Block. I might run a run an, one blizzard or another flame strike, maybe another water elemental. A lot of options, but this is the list that's been really effective for me. So now I'm going to show you two full gameplays to see how the deck plays. So our first game here is going to be against a handlock. Um, I've by far today and yesterday in ranks four, five, and six played handlock and demon lock the most. I'd say at least 70% of my games, and that's not an exaggeration, of like the maybe 80 games I've played in the last few days, probably like 60 to 65 of them have been against some form of Warlock. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, you would think this deck might not do that well, um, especially if they have kind of like the aggro component where they might have some of the Imp Gang boss or eggs, but it does really well. Um, you have the sheep, you have frost bolts. Um, and <laughs> because that's one of the great things about this deck, people either think you're playing tempo mage or freeze mage um, because of the starts. But so they do weird things like that. They throw down a taunter with nothing else in the board so you could just clear it. Um, and they're still probably thinking, oh, he's playing freeze mage. <laughs> nope. I'll try and explain some of my maybe more unusual choices here. So I could have held on to Drake. Um, you see it doesn't have that much health. And I could have played Corruptor next turn, but there's really no need to. Against Hamlock, you really want to put a lot of pressure down there. I definitely do not want to leave that Giant up though, so I Fireball to get rid of it. I don't want to allow him to Shadow Flame, clear a lot of my guys. Uh, this game actually goes pretty long though. But we'll get to see a lot of the uh, flexibility of this deck, which is also what Hamlock is known for. Okay, so I'm going to freeze this guy. Just again, try to keep pressure up, make him have to react instead of holding on to all of his cards, which is what Hamlock's trying to do. Be able to play big uh, health drakes or a mountain giant's. Alright, so you see we have um, 
already a secret in play, and we're also sitting on a duplicate and ice block. And the only other secret is two ice barriers, so we know that that's an ice barrier out there. All right, so he decides to play a six mana Molten Giant. We could clear it here, but both of our guys would die, so we definitely do not want to do that. So instead, we're going to ignore everything, keep the pressure up, <laughs> do a lot of damage, make him have to make a trade. He could still Shadow Flame, though, but you see I have three secrets out, and he's going to do one of the classic, uh, I don't want to say mistakes, but um, tests. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> it's going to be a counter spell, so he coins, even though he's not trying to play anything for nine mana. But he thought that I had a counter spell. Okay, heal that. That's fine. We have plenty of ammunition in the deck. Okay, he did just duplicate, so <laughs> it's pretty good. But we don't have th that many cards in our hand, so it's not the best, but that also gives us... Uh, the reason to use Blackwing Corruptor, do three damage. You can clear the Drake with it, pretty sweet. And we also get the Acolyte out there. Acolyte is great because you could save it for like turn five and later when you can automatically ping it yourself, so you know you can get at least two cards most of the time. Um, or otherwise it acts as a taunter because <laughs> your opponent, especially at the higher levels, knows how important uh, important it is, there we go, um, to clear it. So they're going to attack it first or use something to get rid of it or silence it. It kind of changes the plan that they probably already had for their turn. Okay, so he's really trying to heal up here. Hoping we might draw our flame strike. To me, that's a potential weakness of the deck, though, that it only has one flame strike. But it has been working. <laughs> I think w using this deck, I am 14 and 3. And I really don't have any experience playing Dragon deck, so that's pretty darn good. Not saying that I'm good at this deck, I'm just saying <laughs> that it's not too difficult to master. Though I do have 2,500 like, ranked wins. That's not even that much. I know there's a few players that have 10,000, but <laughs> do have a lot of experience, especially with Mage, though, so I'm able to use that. Okay, I got uh, probably the greatest thing I could have asked for with Nefarian, Twisty Nether, especially against the Handlock. Just destroy all of his guys, and perfect, he floods the board. So I can kill five minions now. <laughs> and he's already used a Molten Giant and a Mountain Giant. He's already used a Healbot. This is going to clear Lothab. This will clear his other um, Azure Drake. Or not Azure Drake. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so he starts to really freak out here. He says your souls shall suffer the taunt, um, the threaten. He uses that about 20 times throughout the rest of the game. As he gets progressively more upset. For some reason, he runs Alex Straza in Handlock. Kind of uh, bizarre here. But we have a lot of answers to it. We're first going to play a Drake. We're going to BGH it. And we're also going to play an Illuminator to recover health. <laughs> so everything he hoped to do is now out the window. We recovered health. His only guy is gone. And we have a Twilight Drake out there. Okay, Dr. Boom. We don't really have an immediate answer for it right now. But there are two polymorphs in the deck. We could um, trade in the 4-2, maybe draw our other Frostbolt. We could trade in two guys and ping it once. A few options, but perfect. We draw Flame Strike. Now, because of the Boom Bots, I almost played Flame Strike right away. Um, but the Boom Bots might kill BGH before I'm able to make that trade. So just to play it safe, I do that first. <laughs> so I taunt him, uh, hello there, because I know he's already kind of mad. Getting your opponent on tilt is always good. 
make them make even more misplays. Okay, so Sacrificial Pact uh, probably won't have any use. His only demon is probably Draxus, and he's not obviously going to have like a Voidwalker to get Draxus out on its own, and unfortunately it can't kill it if he becomes Draxus. <laughs> but that's able to give us uh, the another health for our Twilight Drake at least. No Alright, perfect. Alright, here is the misplay of the match. This pretty much seals it right here. He plays an Ancient Watcher, hoping when I trade my Sylvanas into the Molten Giant that it'll take the Ancient Watcher. But uh, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I can ping my own Sylvanas and kill off the Watcher and get a full health giant. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Not really sure what he was thinking. Maybe he thought I was an idiot? I don't really know. Maybe he's not aware that I can damage my own guy. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. Perfect. Thank you for the full health molten giants. We're also gonna slap down a low health Twilight Drake, but it's another guy out there. He's already really low on health. He's pretty much gonna have to shadow flame here to survive. And he does it with a Sylvanas, so he's actually able to take the giant back. We do have a Polymorph, though, uh, if we need it. Though the Explosive Sheep gives us some other options. Yeah, we're going to take 8 damage, but our health isn't really an issue right now. We already have an Ice Block up. He only has 3 cards, and all of his other giants are gone, so we're fine. <laughs> so I decided, again, to just hold on to the Polymorph case he has any other big guys because he already played Alex Straza so I'm not exactly sure what he's running and there we go perfect we can use polymorph to get rid of the sludge belcher trade in the sheep to the 1-1 one, one sheep and take out the giant also can slap down Emperor <laughs> so this is going almost ideally for me we are out of cards but we don't really need much else if we draw a fireball it's over but that's the versatility of this deck. Um, a lot of people like to run Arcane Intellect, but if you've seen any of my videos in the past, I have talked about how I think that's one of the worst cards in the game. <laughs> I know a lot of people disagree, but I just think it's stupid. Um, so I know there's like a, a lack of card draw. There is the Acolyte of Pain to get some card draw. There is Nefarian, which gives you two of your opponent's spells, but... Um, you don't really need more cards, I've found. Again, I, I have a limited experience. I've only played about 20 games with the deck, but I've never really gotten to a point where I've run out of cards where I'm like way behind at that point as well. So I haven't really teched in anything yet. Okay, so he heals again, but uh, he's already so weak, it doesn't really matter. We draw our own heal bot, so we have an uh, ongoing 7 damage per turn with the two threes and our ping. And he's pretty much dead. <laughs> he's already used the Hellfire, a Shadow Flame, his Giants, Taunters. <laughs> like, he's used the Sylvanas, he's used Dr. Boom, Alex Straza. Pretty much out of every threat in his deck. If he had um, Draxus, he would have played it last turn. So he just spams out things he has, and the game's over. <laughs> Sweet. So I would have had exactly five damage this upcoming turn anyway, but he concedes. So <laughs> there we go. Our first example game of how uh, you might play this deck and how it works against the other popular decks. And for our second and final example for this video, we will be facing a Mech Shaman. This is actually the very next game. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, the whole strength of Mech Shaman is that it spins out of control very quickly. So you want to keep um, in your mulligan anything that could do early damage. 
So I'm going to keep explosive sheep. We're looking for a frost bolt. Even a mad scientist would be okay. Illuminator and a secret, not bad. If we make it to turn six, we could at least recover four health. And we have the sheep. Perfect. And we draw a frost bolt. So I like to start nice, give him a greetings. Maybe he's not playing Mech Shaman, trying to over aggro and play a not thinking deck. <laughs> I've also gone on rants about how stupid I find aggro de super aggro decks like Face Hunter and um, Paladin. Mid-range Paladin and mid-range Shaman I have respect for, but otherwise, no. Okay, so we definitely want to clear the Mech Warper. We don't want him to get out tons of mechs, so we're going to use our Frostbolt. We definitely do not want to play the Sheep yet. And there's no reason to play the Mad Scientist. He'd be able to get a value trade and still get mechs for a lower cost the next turn. Okay, spider tank. We have no immediate answer for that. We're definitely not going to coin polymorph that. It makes no sense. We're not going to play BGH. <laughs> so we're just going to play scientist. Um, so if he trades in, we have sheep next turn to clear, but that's only one guy. We're hoping he's going to play something else. Like a whirling zapomatic. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> and he's even going to totem so perfect we get to clear three enemies including their kind of ultimate the whirling zapomatic which gets the most out of control they can use uh, the one cost spell to give it plus three that turn use both of them do 18 damage with one of them in one turn it's insane or if their um, weapon there we go power mace um, runs out, it gives it plus two, plus two, so it's able to do 10 damage per turn. No, thank you. <laughs> so I'm showing Blackwing Corruptor. I'm hoping I'm going to draw a dragon to do three damage, but unfortunately we aren't. We are sitting on Polymorph, but right now it's only a three, two. Um, not really that concerned about it. My health is okay. He only has three cards. We have a lot of things coming up. We could just play Illuminator and recover health. So we're going to go with that play. I'm even going to coin out an ice barrier, just to give us more health, more time to draw into something better. Maybe a dragon. He's really taking his sweet time here, <laughs> even though he only has four cards. All right, Crackle. Of course, it does the maximum six. <laughs> I mean, it, only if it did the minimum would my guy have survived, but I just thought it was funny. All right, so I was able to get a duplicate form of my guy, my healer, so that's great. And I'll have that to combine with my ice block, which, of course, isn't going to expire for a while, so I could keep gaining health with my illuminators. Now it is a 5-4. Now it is getting scary. Um, we could potentially wait even longer um, to use the... Um, big game hunter on it but we'll see that's his only minion right now and we're healing with the illuminator so it's not that big of a threat and if he attacks it once and then goes face we could still use the black wing corruptor if we draw into a dragon and again it's his one minion I'm not going to freak out about it but he keeps clearing all of my things so it is starting to get scary. The other big thing that a mech um, shaman has, and he's going all out aggro here, so he's really trying to get desperate. Um, the other big thing that mech shaman has is the fell reaver, the five mana eight eight mech. But I love messing with people that go for fell reaver. It's such a terrible card. Um, I always try and like, even if it makes no sense for what I'm doing that turn, play as many cards as possible, make them burn like 12 or 15 cards and then destroy it. And exactly that is going to come up later in this game. It's amazing. I could have just simply BGH'd it and ignored it, but instead I play two other cards. Make him burn uh, Ragnaros, Crackle, all kinds of good cards force him to watch them all go away so he has a really really weak board he only has two cards couldn't really be in better shape here 
Not really sure what that was. Maybe another earth shock. Nope, fire elemental. <sighs> okay, we can't BGH that, unfortunately. But I think we draw into our other polymorph here, which is <laughs> ideal and pretty lucky. And there we go. His <laughs> one of his other big threats is now out of the game. I'm going to clear the Cogmaster just because he probably has a lot of other mechs. I don't want to give him more free damage. So kill it while it only does one to me. Looking good again. We have Ice Block and Ice Barrier going. We have a Taunter. He doesn't really have an easy way to clear it. Okay, Doomhammer. He only has one other card, so even if it is the plus three damage, um, that's only 10 damage. And we still have Ice Barrier, so we're not really in bad shape here. We still have a BGH waiting on that Fell Reaver. We have a Sylvanas. We have a Corruptor in case we draw a Dragon. We could just play the Corruptor, but there's no need to clear his little guys. They're no threat. I don't. Most often, I I don't think I've really ever seen a Mech Shaman run Bloodlust, the spell that gives all of your guys plus three attack that turn. It's pretty devastating, but Mech Shamans do do not run that. Okay, so we get a zero cost spell, perfect with a Sarah, and there we go. Here's our buddy, the Fell Reaver. Ay ay ay! I almost feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> okay. So we see we could play the Corruptor, even though we don't have any value with it right now. But then we could um, pop back one of his guys into his hand. We'll probably do the Taunt um, Totem and then use BGH. So he burns nine cards and he doesn't get to attack at all with it. But we drew something even better. We're going to drop uh, Emperor here. We're going to kick the Totem back to his hand and then play. So there we go. Flame Tongue Totem, <laughs> his Golden Ragnaros, bye bye. Other Earth Shock, Mech Corper, Spider Tank, goodbye. And BGH even counts, perfect. <laughs> no Mechanical Yeti, no Lothab, and no Piloted Shredder. Wow. So he only has two cards in his hand. We have already gotten rid of his Whirling Zapomatix, a Fell Reaver. We just made him burn Ragnaros. <laughs> he pretty much has nothing left. And there we go, the Concede. Okay, that was my very quick, um, but hopefully somewhat in-depth, look into Dragon Mage. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching.